Hello students, this is the first video of our channel, It's All Biology. In this module, we will learn about a key concept of biology that is cell cycle and cell division. It is a key concept and foundation to the subject biology. So let's start with what cell division really is. In this module, you will learn about cell division, types of cell division, importance of cell division and at the end of this module you will be given some important points to remember. So when we talk about cell division the very first thing that comes in our mind is what is a cell. So the cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism which is typically microscopic and consists of cytoplasm and a nucleus and is enclosed in a membrane. Now that we know what a cell is, let's move on to the next topic that is cell division. Cell division is the division of a parent cell into two daughter cells. That means that if I am having one primary cell with me and that has to undergo division. So it is going to divide into two daughter cells. That process is known as cell division. You must be thinking why studying cell division is so important. It is the fundamental process of life. That means that all the basic processes of life begins from cell. It enables life to carry generation after generation. This means that when you were born, you were a single cell being. And now that you have grown, your number of cells in the body has also grown in number. Now that you know what cell division is, let's move on to the types of cell division. Cell division is of three types. Amitosis, mitosis and meiosis. In many of your course books, you might not find amitosis, but it is a very important process that takes place in a cell division. Amitosis Amitosis is a very simple process of cell division. It is also known as direct cell division. It occurs by simple cleavage of nucleus, that is, without any spindle formation or presence of chromosomes. This is the reason why it is known as simple or direct cell division. It occurs mainly in the less developed organisms, for example, bacteria. There are no further phases in amitosis as you are going to see in mitosis and meiosis. Now let's understand amitosis with the help of an example. In this diagram, you can see that there is a cell with a nucleus inside of it. That nucleus is going to elongate and is going to take a dumbbell shape. And also there is con constriction of cytoplasm. This constriction of cytoplasm and elongation of nucleus will further proceed and at the end it is going to divide my cell into two daughter cells with individual nucleus. Now let's move on to the next type of cell division that is mitosis. Mitosis is the type of cell division in which one parent cell divides into two identical daughter cell. Identical here means that two cells are going to look alike. It is also known as equational division. That is because as the cell division takes place, the chromosome number is maintained in each cell division. The number that we are going to start with is the number that we are going to get at the end. It takes place in the somatic cells of the body. This simply means that mitosis occurs in all the cells of the body except the sex cells. It is important for growth and replacement in animals. There are two main phases of mitosis that is karyokinesis and cytokinesis. What we are trying to say here is mitosis is basically divided into two main parts. One is karyokinesis and other is cytokinesis. Let's study what karyokinesis and cytokinesis is. 
karyokinesis karyokinesis is the division of nucleus this division of nucleus takes place in four steps number one such step is prophase metaphase anaphase and the last is telophase by the end of telophase my cell is going to be having two nucleus after telophase the cell will undergo another phase that is cytokinesis which is nothing but the division of cytoplasm at the end of cytokinesis i'll be having my two identically looking daughter cells in this class we will not be taking these in details but if you want to study about them in detail you can follow my next classes the third type of cell division is meiosis meiosis is the type of cell division that produces sex cells or the gametes it takes place in the reproductive organs of humans to produce sperms and ova it also takes place in plants to produce pollen grains and female gametophyte it is also known as reductional division as the chromosome number gets reduced after cell division it also helps in mixing up of the genes which provides variation it is divided into two phases meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 Meiosis 1 is also known as reductional phase as at the end of meiosis 1 the chromosome number will going to reduce there are four phases in meiosis 1 prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 after telophase 1 my cell is now ready to enter into another phase that is meiosis 2 which is also called as equational phase it is called as equational phase because it works just like mitosis the chromosome number are not going to reduce this time but they are going to be same there are four phases in meiosis 2 prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 at the end of meiosis 2 i will obtain four identical looking cells now that we know what cell is what cell division is and the various types of processes that makes it happen the next thing that we are going to do is importance of cell division number one importance of cell division is growth when we were born we had a certain height and now that we see our cells our height has increased this is because of growth which was only possible by the help of cell division next if i take another example is repair when we get hurt blood comes out of our hand and that doesn't keep on happening after some time the blood stops and we get a scar that is also possible because of cell division another work that cell division does for us is replacement replacement of old and worn out cells and they are replaced by new and healthy young cells so this is also one function of cell division at last cell division also plays an important role in reproduction asexual reproduction if we talk about takes place with the help of cell division wherein one cell one primary cell gets divided into two daughter cells now let's revise what we have learned so far the division of one cell into two or more cells is known as cell division there are three types of cell division amitosis mitosis and meiosis amitosis is the type of cell division in which one primary cell divides into two daughter cells mitosis is the type of cell division which results into formation of two identical daughter cells it has two phases karyokinesis and cytokinesis meiosis is the division of sex cells it occurs in two phases meiosis 1 
which is also called as reductional division and meiosis 2 which is also called as equational division. Cell division is important for the growth, repair, replacement and reproduction in our body. In the next class, we will begin with the detailed study of cell division. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you.